Okay, right now while we're uh, in the um, print device section, um, I do want to touch a little bit on the software that's required for inkjet printers, being that um, inkjet printers are the most common used product now, uh, or becoming the most popular uh, product to use for outputting uh, film. And the uh, reason being is, again, the cost of the inkjet printers have come down dramatically. Uh, the quality of the film is really good. And uh, the price of the film has been coming down dramatically. And uh, nobody can really afford a CTS machine right now other than the real big shops and a couple of medium shops. But uh, as an entry level uh, screen printer, it's going to be very difficult to get into a CTS machine. So your best bet is going to be an inkjet printer. So what I'd like to do is touch a little bit about the software here. Um, for the inkjet printers and, and the software that, again that I'm most comfortable with and have been using recently and, and feel that it's a very easy to use software would be a software called AccuRip. Um, AccuRip is, uh, is a software that will allow you to print halftones via an inkjet printer. Um, it allows you to print postscript which laser printers allow you to do. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and just show you the, the quick setup of uh, what this software would look like. And uh, once you set it up, you pretty much don't have to touch it unless you have to change something uh, in regards to your frequency or angles. But once the software is set up, uh, basically you can print out of Photoshop or Illustrator Corral and it will print directly to the, the printer that you choose, which would be the AccuRip printer, and uh, it would be able to translate this information to produce halftones. Here we have an example of uh, the AccuRip software and basically uh, my goal here is just to show you how easy it is to set it up and once you set it up it's uh, pretty much uh, ready to go and, and you should not have to change much unless uh, you're going to change the, either the frequency or the angles and I'll show you the reason why here in a minute. Um, so this is what the uh, AccuRip software looks like and what we're going to do is go to File, Setup. Okay, and then here at the top, the first question is, what printer do you have? Um, keep in mind that when you install AccuRip, auto, all of these questions will automatically be answered by you at the time of installation. But right now, I just kind of want to go over the setup for you. Uh, it's going to ask you, what printer do you have? Uh, printer, we're going to uh, use the Epson 1800, because that's what I have my computer um, basically set at, and that's what I use. Um, the media to size. On the R1800, normally it's sheets. You don't want to use rolls on the R1800. Uh, the, only, the only printers you want to use rolls on are possibly the uh, 4880 and above. Uh, anything below the 4880 is always going to be cut sheets. Maximum size for the R1800 is 13 by 19. So we're going to go ahead and choose that. Reason being is if for some reason uh, my image is uh, small and um, I want to print them side by side to save money on film, um, this program will automatically nest it for you. It will automatically detect the size of your maximum print size and fit as much as it can within that width, which is the 13 inches wide. So it's a, that's a really neat portion of this, uh, or a very neat part of this software that it automatically nests it for you. Um, ink setup. Okay, here I got the multi black selected. Um, the multi black, what this means, if, if you leave this option unchecked, um, basically what it's going to do, it's going to uh, print out of the uh, photo black um, cartridge. Okay, that's basically for you to print out of one cartridge only. But you can also, the nice thing, and, and the, one of the things I like about this rip, is that if you select multi-black, that means you can use all your color channels and your black channels together, okay, and basically uh, the distributors will sell the inks that handle AccuRip to be able to print black ink out of all the color slots. And that's the nice thing about this RIP. It'll allow you to print black ink from all the color slots as a bulk system. Uh, they call this a, a cartridge, an all black cartridge bulk system. You don't have to use it, but you know it's really nice and uh, will keep you from changing cartridges quite often. And uh, works very well as a bulk system. You also have the option of printing out of different channels if you like. Okay, So say one of your uh, head clogs, um, you know you can print out of the gloss optimizer as long as you load it up with black. 
Um, but you know, most of, most of the time people are going to use it as an all black system or as a one cartridge printing system. Then we're going to go from to the printer setup. Printer resolution. Okay, This is what I like about AccuRip is that it gives you uh, different printing resolutions uh, for you to control. So you can go anywhere from 720 by 720 and as high as 5660 by 1440 but most of the time you're going to be between 720 by 720 and 1440 by 1440. You go any higher than that, that's going to slow down your printing speed. Uh, droplet weight. You have control on your droplet weight. You can make it a light, medium, or heavy. Standard is medium. On your print resolution, standard is about 720 or 1440. We'll leave it at 1440. And then you have the option of printing bidirectional or unidirectional. Uh, bidirectional, all that's going to do is speed it up for you and print in bo both directions. How is your printer connected? Um, you can do local printer and then you can also do network. So you can network your uh, printer so that multiple computers can print out of the same printer. A very nice feature in this software. And then uh, finally, your screens. This is what we had talked earlier in the portion of uh, uh, creating your frequencies and angles in Photoshop or Illustrator. If you're using AccuRip, you don't really have to do anything in Photoshop or Illustrator. By selecting the lock screens, that will automatically, by default, uh, print at a 22.5 degree angle and whatever frequency you're, you have set here. So it can be 45 or you can change it up to 55, uh, whatever, whatever you choose to use. But the standard normally is 45 to 55. Another nice feature for the advanced users, and you have to have a densitometer for this. Um, it's, it's the only way that this will work, is you have the dot gain control feature here. Okay, I will not go into this too much. Um, this is, again, for more advanced uh, users and uh, people who have densitometers. But this option is here, this feature is here for anybody who knows that I, what I'm talking about. And it's a very neat feature for uh, more precise half-toning.